Good morning, Lincoln Country Day friends. I miss you guys, all of you, my threes, fours, and fives. I'm sitting here on the Cape with one of my friends. I don't know if you can see her. This is Gemma. I've talked about Gemma before in our class, and I thought some of you might have fun seeing Gemma. But she's kind of hard to see. If she turns around all the way, you'll see if she's got yellow eyes. And she might leave in the middle of the story because she's kind of shy. So today I'm going to read a story called Alice Stare in Outer Space. And the reason I picked this story is that it was a favorite of my own children's um, years ago. And because it's about a boy who loves the library and as... All of you who know me, you know I love the library, so I'm a little sad the libraries are closed right now, but happy that I have lots of books at home to choose from. So this is a very old book. I don't know if any of you have heard it, but it's called Alistair in Outer Space by Marilyn Sadler. Alistair Griddle was a sensible boy. Here he is going upstairs. Every day he made a list of the things that he had to do. And then he made a list of the things that he did not have to do. He was always on time. The school's clock was set by his watch. He hung up his jacket every night and put his shoes in a bag to protect them. Alistair took especially good care of his library books. He washed his hands before he read them so that he would not smudge the pages, and he always returned them to the library on time, just like we do. One day when Alistair was returning his books to the library, something unusual happened. Can you guys see what's coming in the sky? He has a lot of library books and something is coming in the sky. He was picked up by a spaceship and whisked off into space. That is unusual. That has never happened to me when I went to the library. Two creatures who called themselves Goots were flying the spaceship. They were from a planet known as Gudula. They were very friendly. The Goots liked Alistair very much and they wanted to take him home with them. I think the Goots look pretty friendly. Alistair thanked the Goots very much, but he did not want to go to Gudula. My library books are due back today, he said. The librarian will be expecting me. The Goots pretended not to hear Alistair and continued on toward their home. After a very short time, they landed on a planet they thought was Gudula, but then they realized that it was not Gudula, it was Trollabob. We must have made a wrong turn, said the Goots. What do you guys think? Do you like the way that planet looks? It's a little different than our Earth. There was nothing for Alistair to do but read his library books again. Getting lost in an exciting adventure was just what he needed. But when he looked for a place to wash his hands, he opened the wrong door. The next thing he knew, he was in outer space. Now I will never get my books back to the library, he thought. There he is, floating in outer space. He doesn't seem to be too scared or worried about being floating in outer space. The Goots soon noticed that Alistair was missing and they turned their ship around. When they found Alistair, he was showing the Trollobobbles his library card. The Trollobobbles wanted to take Alistair home with them, but he explained that he had just been to their planet. So the Trollobobbles gave Alistair back to the Goots. The 
The goose continued to search for Gudula, but they could not find it anywhere. Alistair looked at his watch. Can you see his face? He looks a little worried. It was getting late. He was going to have to pay a library fine. Alistair could not look for Gudula any longer. He insisted that the Goots take him home. This time the Goots agreed. They had never seen Alistair quite so upset. The Goots told Alistair they were very sorry. Goots were not known to be good at directions. Oh, they do look sorry. Alistair did not think the Goots would be able to get find Earth, so he decided that he would fly the spaceship himself. It was not very long before Alistair spotted Earth in the viewer. He was glad he had taken a shortcut. Can you see Earth in the viewer? Then Alistair let the Goots take over while he gathered up his library books. He was very much relieved when they finally landed on Earth. Although it was late, he was quite certain that he would still have time to get to the library. Now that he was home. Now, can you see him walking with his books? Do you think he's home? I don't know. I'm not sure he made it home. He might have made it to Earth, but I think he's going to have to pay a fine and he's not going to be very happy. And you know what? I'm so impressed that Gemma stayed here the whole time. She must have just liked that story. And I hope you liked it too. The next time I see you, I think I might have a little exercises for you to do because I don't want you to get out of shape while you're at home. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day and give your parents hugs for me. Bye-bye.